You down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? Who's down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? You down with LCS? Who down with LCS? Good morning. Happy uh, happy Saturday to everybody. We've got a big, uh, big, big uh, live stream today. We've got some giveaways to do, uh, and I got a couple, a couple guests in in the uh, in the green room. So I'm going to bring them out first. We've got. Uh, hopefully, he's he's awake. I know he he needs uh, he still needs a little bit more sleep. But uh, all the way from Canada, Chris, the comic vet, is here, uh, or should I say, uh, the Sith uh, vet or dark uh, comic vet. <laughs> Brian, your show's too early. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You can get a nap in between uh, after we wrap up here and, and only slabs. There's no recovering from this. This is just rough. Like, <laughs> we should have done Izzy show. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Izzy, there he is. <laughs> I asked. I asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think actually, I think Chris, you were the one who suggested. I, so I, I know. know. It, this, this was my idea. So, so you, yeah. you're telling me you're not a morning person up there in Canada? I am. It's just I need at least like six hours. And I don't. I was telling Brian, and I'm sure some people in the chat could agree. But the older I get, when I know that I have something to do the next day, that's important. I sleep poorly. Like I'll wake. Like I told someone, Brian, I woke up. At, like I woke up at like six oh three and I'm like, oh, is it time for Brian's show? Look at the clock. Six oh three, damn it. Lie back down. Wake up again. Is it time for Brian's show? Oh, it's six forty two. Like I'm just <laughs> You see, I've been up since six thirty. So I'm I'm yeah, just I mean the weekends I, I usually get up at about five forty five during the week to get you know get ready for work and go to work. Mm. So on the weekends I'll try to you know sleep in until like 7 30. Nah, I have to wake up early because I got a lot of stuff to work on because you got that nice shirt on, Brian. Yeah. And I have to finish the editing for that video that I promise everyone at six o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> so I have to reach that marker. And more importantly, because I get I gather the information for it, then the important thing is to get everything ready for it so i'm putting yeah. the light last minute things and then i want to go out today because it's <laughs> There's let's some uh let's say hello to the here. chat as always lucretia said to well chris was probably getting some sleep at 2 2 12 a.m when lucretia's checked in i see but he checked <laughs> back in again at seven <laughs> and then at early. nine wow he, he really is the best you know <laughs> he, he's everywhere Seriously, man. And Chris checking in with us. Lucretius again. <laughs> Collecting with Durs. He's at work, but uh, we appreciate you stopping in. Trev is here. Good morning, Trev. I know Trev was hanging out. Fanboy Prime was streaming this morning with uh, Evil Mike and Neil, and they were doing a, another cover cover battle. So I caught a little bit of that. So good morning, Cat Fan. I was building the wheel of names. We had so many members, so many, uh, so many entries on the wheel of names this morning. So uh, we'll we'll be doing that giveaway, our membership giveaway that we've uh, been you know promoting for the last two months, and then we have our end of the month uh, chat giveaway, the comic books that we give away. So we'll get to that as well. And there's Cliff, Cliff, the man who's everywhere these days. You can't. He he's now. T I think he's surpassed Rob Fatstacks for being. On the most streams per week is Cliff. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> with, with Cliff, it's going to be interesting next week. I want to see how he's going to pull it off. Because he's coming over to to King Kong in the morning. And then oh, he that's has right. To, he's got to get back for only slabs. He has to get back for only slabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Chris, and that's probably what. So he's, he's going he's from upstate hour. New York to New Jersey, and then he's got to get back, yeah, right? New Jersey. Yeah, it's yeah. it's um it's middle New Jersey. It's not like it's central and, New Jersey. It's not like oh yeah, you just gotta drive court. No, he's driving. Yeah, and fingers and, crossed. No, no, you know. And Brian, no, you know, no speeding Rob, tickets. You I know, Rob. Great, yeah, Rob runs a tight ship with only slabs like two thirty oh, yeah. on the I dot. Like, he just fires it up. 
Here's what I'd say. I'd say bring the case, right? Bring the case of slabs, take it (laughs) with you, and do only slabs in King Kong. That's a lot of weight. You have equipment. DJ Hicks and I will definitely have equipment. Yeah, I think he, I think Cliff mentioned that, but I think he said he was going to try to grab a hotel room, but it was pretty expensive. So he could do it. He could do it right from the show. Yeah, that's true. We we got a we got a nice little table going on. Do it from the show. What the heck? Yeah. And then exactly. have people watch it. So think about the views you get. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Zach, good morning, Zach. And we got a taku tour guide all the way. He's up early. He's on the west coast. He's up early. Phil is back. Phil is here. And Phil will be back, too. Phil made a big announcement next uh, Sunday. He's bringing back his Sunday afternoon show. It's a little, little – he's got a new a new twist. No more trivia. But he's going to be doing a hangout, uh, the uh, Sunday sort, it's called, mm-hmm. where he's going to get people on uh, – guests on to come through and sit and chat and sort through their collections, organize their collections. So looking forward to that. Nice. Let's see, Meatwad number one, who's got a duck on the uh, a duck on the pond for our race uh, later today. Tony's here, channel member, channel member. I think across all three channels, as well as Durs, yeah, so multiple entries, multiple entries for yeah, for the giveaways today. They really want it. <laughs> Phil is here. Good morning, Phil. Phil's going live today at eleven. Uh, so following our stream here, he'll he'll be live. Canadian survivalist. Nap in the process. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay is here. Good morning, Jay. Uh, let's see. Joe is here. Joe just did a comic book crowd live stream last night. Caught a bit of that. Good discussion. They were talking about, um, you know, FMV and and um, you know, will collections be worth more in the future? And you know, how how do you find some of your information about? Um, Price of books, you know, FMV, fair market value today. So it was a pretty a good stream, good good panel last night. So definitely go check that out. Drac is here, and I got to go back. I missed it. He did the big interview with uh, Chip Zdarsky, and I I saw on Instagram. So I guess Chip has a uh, Substack, and he yes. he promoted it on Substack, and so he said, you know, he didn't know how he got roped into it, but he agreed yeah. to an interview with actual Dracula. So. He, he doesn't know how he got into it. <laughs> I watched it. It was really good. And they were answering well, questions from the chat, too. Yeah, it was really, really good. And he's a bit of a character anyway, right, Chip? I oh, mean, yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. kind of. Yeah. yeah. So I definitely got to go. I have that. He's uh, very much off the cuff. <laughs> Taylor's here. And Chip's, yeah. I mean, what else? He's doing Batman right now, right? He's on Batman. He's on. Um. Is it Newburn? Is he writing Newburn too? Yes, he is. Uh, um, and a few Newburn. others. I know he's kind of he's he's a busy guy. And he's working on multiple companies, right? He's doing. Yeah, he's still doing. He's still doing Marvel. He just uh, oh, he scaled back. He scaled back from Daredevil to focus on Batman, but he's still doing a lot of smaller projects. Right. Right. Yeah, that that kind of stuff doesn't really happen like that, where you you're doing multiple <laughs> publishers. Yeah. Usually they yeah, yeah usually they want you locked in on one, right? Yeah. Coco's here. Yeah. Good morning. So he, he, uh, he got a good deal there. He 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 told a great story uh, where Marvel approached him about doing Ultimate Spider-Man. And when he went over it, he's like, ah, oh, this is totally Hickman. Uh, you should give this to Hickman. And they did. And then Hickman ended up reaching out to him saying, hey, thanks. And then Chip made the joke. He goes, yeah, yeah, because I like giving away money. So <laughs> no Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like the you know I make the joke he's the franchise but you know it's like the sweetest plum is doing the Spider-Man title but he made the joke of yeah because I like giving away money that's funny yeah it's a real Ryan's good Ryan's here good morning Ryan just trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody in the chat and we've got a new member hmm. appreciate Coco joining thank Let's you see. Coco also became a member in my channel oh Look at that dual membership. Thank you, Coco. Now it's awkward, Coco, and him and I have actually met at Heroes. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Let's see. I remember you, Coco. I remember you. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking for something to. Uh, let's see. My, we'll mom, give mom, you... my mom tells me all the time, "I'm Coco to you. I'm Coco to you." I'm like, "What are you talking about? You don't call me." 
Well, you know, it is Easter weekend, so. Uh, Jimmy G is here. Good morning, Jimmy. Appreciate you being here. Jimmy's got ooh, some ooh, entries. <laughs> yeah. It's true. He called me out. He's like, just go to bed, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's here. Kingdom of Nerds, good morning. Appreciate you being here. Christian's here, a channel member. He's got some he's got some skin in the game on the giveaway today. Mm -hmm. Pat is here, HAQ. Good morning. Appreciate you being here. His channel's going nuts with uh short videos. He's his channel's blowing up. He's a big he's a good supporter of the community as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Uh Dr. Von Hoot. Good Hoot. probably afternoon Hoot. to you. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's make sure I'm not missing anybody. Oh, he's doing, oh, that's right, Twilight. Yeah. Twilight, Twilight's been really good. Yeah. Twilight Twilight has been good. I, I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind on the Batman series. I'm five, six issues. I, I still got, they're on my reading pile. They, they, but, started, uh, a new run, though. they started a new run, though, with Batman. New work, yeah. yeah. Did they? they? Okay. They but I mean, yeah, Chip's, still, Chip's still writing it, though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Spidey guy Murph. Good morning. <laughs> 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. I know. I, that's why I picked the 10 a.m. spot because it worked for me. But forget it. Right. Saturday, 7 a.m. East Coast, uh, West Coast. You might get a few people that are able to join. Um, so. Dr. Von Hoot. <laughs> it is a special occasion. Now, yeah. now for DVH, it ain't breakfast unless he woke. He just woke up. Uh, brunch or brunch, yeah, yeah. brunch yeah, with yeah. DVH or, or lopper. Mm, let's see. Oh, let's, we'll, right. we'll, we'll give DVH because he's a big wrestling fan. We, yeah, that might get canceled. Yeah, we may have to retire that one, Brian. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot yeah. about the stuff going on with Vince. Yeah, Vince yeah, got delete, himself delete. in some trouble. Yeah, but apparently, so apparently Matt was involved in the trouble he got himself in. <laughs> <laughs> so are we well, I, 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 I was thinking Vince McMahon was in hot water, not not Matt. No, Matt's, oh, yeah. Matt's part of the he's gonna be part <laughs> Matt's of the triangle. Yeah, you know, trouble there. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, I think that needs to go bye bye. Yeah, you know you got. Are you, you the chosen you, one? I don't have any PDD clips, so I'm 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 okay there. Oh wow! But yeah, that's wow. <laughs> I, I guess we're safe there. Yeah. Yeah. Old, yeah. <laughs> so we've yeah. got a bunch of bunch of giveaways to to do today, but our first order of business is. Um, Pulling, uh, getting a duck ready. Let's see. Here are everybody who entered from last week. They left the hashtag on last week's uh, Breakfast with Brian. So uh, let us get us a duck uh, for our giveaway for the chat. Let's shuffle, shuffle. Good luck. And the runners are off. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. Now we, Coco, Coco's really got this one. Get, let's get Jarrett from Subway. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'll that stay away from that. Prison, that was so fresh, too, right? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, boy, eat fresh. <laughs> That's Some what he really meant. Fantastic Kenneth Bird, Trev, Dagger, Catfan, and Durs. Kenneth Bird's out, out in front. You never want to leave the duck race early. Bird's just known for finishing second, right? I don't want to jinx yeah. it. <laughs> I did well, see he's coming, one. Up. he's coming up oh, on the air. Durs is coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, congrats. And he oh. probably didn't even see it. He's he's at work. Yeah. He's lurking somewhere. 
Right. Um, so we got to add, we'll add DERS to the end of the month. Uh, well, yeah. So today is the end of the month. We actually, five Saturdays in March. So we, we've got a stack of, uh, we'll have a stack of 25 books that one lucky winner will be winning today. Wow. 25 books. That's like half a short box. <laughs> <laughs> let me uh let me add Mr. Durs to the Imagine list. Here. 25 books for omnibuses. Oh. <laughs> oh, I would want to pay the shipping on that. <laughs> yeah, I've got the um <clears throat> I've got, the, I've got the flat rate gun. box ready. <laughs> So, and then we've got, uh, we're going to do the, we'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> Actually, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor I'm Wonder Wonder. better at math than, than I am in anything else. <laughs> is he as good at math as he is at pronunciation? <laughs> <laughs> one plus one equals potato. <laughs> Papa Willie's here. He's got some names on the wheel. Yeah, Papa. So looking, yeah. yeah. Papa's been winning some really cool stuff lately. Yeah. Kids on fire. <laughs> yeah. Got some Hot Wheels. That's what he got. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, we've got that name of wheels that we're going to be doing. We've got four prizes to give away for the, the membership giveaways. And then we have the... Um, you know, the end of the month books that we give away and we'll have a, we'll have a hashtag. Let me get that. Actually, I got to get that set up. Um, we'll have a hashtag for your final chance to win uh, a duck this, uh, later, later today. Let me just get that set up. Um, but yeah, so guys, what, uh, what else do you guys have? Maybe we'll start with you, Chris. I know, I know you're still trying to wake up, but, uh, <laughs> what you got going on? So, so last week up here in Toronto, there was the Toronto Comic Con, which is basically the spring version of Fan Expo. Now, I know you guys are aware of Fan Expo as it's now North America wide. Uh, Fan Expo Toronto usually takes place the last weekend of August going into the first weekend of September, usually the weekend before Labor Day. Uh, because it's such a monstrous show, they actually do a couple small spin-off show. And the spin-off show happened last weekend called the Toronto Comic Con. They tailor it, or pardon me, they tailor it to go around March break. And uh last weekend when it happened, it sound it's beginning to sound like organized crime hit that show. Uh -oh. hundreds, hundreds of people had cell phones stolen. Uh, multiple vendors uh, were hit with theft. So I'm now in the process of uh, putting together a video talking about what happened, getting quotes from online and getting uh, quotes from reputable news agencies up here in Canada talking about what actually happened at this show that had well over 35,000 people attend wow. over three That's days crazy. so yeah it's a large show even though it's just a smaller spin-off show and yeah. yeah it's it sounds heartbreaking what happened to these poor people men women children and the worst part was on top of this 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 crime ring or this organized theft that happened the volunteers were treating uh people with accessibility needs terribly Elevators were not allowed to be used for people with accessibility needs. Uh, there was cases where people were accusing Fan Expo of overcrowding. And they're talking about going to both the police and the fire department about this. Because as you know, uh, with overcrowding, the fire department has incredible mm -hmm. power and power oh, to sure. shut down, yeah. shut down stuff, and um, then yeah. take them to court afterwards. So there's a lot of stuff happening right now with this particular con. So I'm now just in, in just now in the final editing stage of, of putting quotes together and getting this video up. So again, yeah, this was at the Metro Toronto convention center in downtown Toronto, where they've had fan expo for like, I believe it's now well over 30 years and the, and the spinoff show for the spring, the Toronto comic con presented by fan expo has been happening for at least 15 years as well. And it's usually a big destination for people that that are in Ontario, Quebec, Michigan, and New York. 
But yeah, it sounds like they were really, really hit hard. And it wasn't just one day. All three days, uh, people were going to uh, going to security, going to the lost and found. And apparently the volunteers at the lost and found were laughing in people's faces too. So it sounds like it was just a total crap wow. show. Just a total crap show. And it sounds like Fan Expo has got themselves in some deep, deep water with the theft mm -hmm. and how their volunteers were treating people and the accessibility factor because you never want to see people who need uh, need an elevator to get to different floors for things like this be denied that oh, kind of sure. thing because mm -hmm. immediately the law does get involved. Yeah, so, sure. yeah. So everyone, that's please crazy, keep an eye out dude. for that video. Wow, that's great. I didn't hear anything about it, but you think that would, yeah. I, you know, would be bigger news. And, and I'm so honestly, I'm kind of surprised that there isn't more th theft targeting at some uh, targeted at some of these larger conventions. Cause I know, so New York comic con two years ago, I visited the short box booth and they had, you know, they, uh, you know, they had a couple hundred books on display or maybe a hundred books on display in their, in, in their booth and some big do dollar books, you know, an AF 15, um, you know, they had, you know, there was probably, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars just in their booth alone. <laughs> and then you, you know, all of the other surrounding booths that you know, I'm surprised that we don't hear more stories of that being targeted for, you know, some of these conventions, yeah. because at the end of the end of the night, right. They, I I'm sure they put some of the big value books away, but a lot of the, the, uh, people that have booths probably don't. You know, they throw tarps or what yeah, do they do with it. their books? It's not like they're d taking all their books and locking them up. Yeah. You know, they're it's sitting hard. on the show floor. So security is one of those situations, especially in the con, that's so a multi day con, especially, right? So a one day con is not that big of a problem because, you know, they hope they take up, they take down the same day. But you got these multi day cons where, yeah, you, you're right. It's just a tarp covering the comics. And you're at the discretion of whatever security but, that, you know, that facility has. But, right? uh, and let's be honest, that security is usually lower end. You know, they're not getting paid that much to be watching that much stuff, if you know what I right. mean. But yeah, so, uh, do, doing some my doing some investigation, like I said, into credible news agencies, because, uh, again, this became very large news across the province. And then nationally, it was a smaller story. But Artist Alley got hit the hardest because wow. that's usually where the most foot traffic is. And people talked about their backpacks being pulled at behind them. And people were kind of getting like shoulders put in into them a little bit. And oh, so you, know, like you know, you know, that's and those type of oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. pickpocketing was a very large problem. Wow. So, yeah, it really sounds like there was an organized crime ring, whether it was just three or four people. It doesn't matter because like it like we could be well over 50 to 100 people that had their cell phones ripped off, cash taken out of their pockets, their wallet, their wallets gone. And on top of it all, the volunteers being a nightmare to the attendees right, right. and the possibility of overcrowding in a very large convention center, regardless, but 35,000 people over a span of three days. That's yeah, that's, that's, you know, and a lot of times I think those events will hire, you know, they have volunteers. So, right, they're probably not being paid. They're, they're being there. Well, they're they're there. not being paid at all. Right. And, and, but, but they'll There's bring in like a third party, you know, security sometimes, right? And so I'm sure they're not, you know, they're probably trying to save money, bring in a, a low a low bidder, that type of thing. And, you know, who, who knows what kind of background checks that are happening for, <laughs> you know, yeah. some of those well, people. So. And, and the problem with some of these volunteers, it's – because I know friends of mine that like to volunteer in a lot of shows here in New York, because we do get a lot. But some of the problems with the volunteers, are you're putting them in positions that they really shouldn't be in, right? A, volunteer, a, a role of a volunteer should be the person that is either guiding some kind of traffic or is that last person in line. We all, we all hate when we see that sign that <laughs> says last person in line. That's the role of a volunteer, not to be dealing with, you know, with, you lost and found that's supposed to be with someone else you know volunteers are literally the type of people that will do the job because what they really want is just to be there right so a lot of times they just want to be involved and be there present so they right. get us they supposed to be given like a small time period to work in and in the spot that it really is not going to be a factor 
of whether they're security. They should never be part of security. Never. They're volunteers. Security should be paid. Yeah. Right. And stuff like that. And, th and their role is really just move traffic, be the person in line. That's really what about and get a nice bright orange shirt. So yeah, make sure you, everyone you check out that check out that video if you want to find out a little bit <laughs> yeah. more and and hear the stories of these poor people. Now I will say, make sure you put the word epic fail because it does wonders <laughs> for people like Dicker Jim. <laughs> 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 Rob, Rob's uh, bringing a muscle to uh, for C three here. That's that's where Cliff comes in, man. If you guys he, ever met Cliff, <laughs> oh. Cliff is muscle, man. No, if Mark's dad goes pops, then we'll have security. That's true. Yeah. That's he's true. a former surgeon, like yeah. Oh wow, cool. and, and he still he still looks like he's in great shape. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but it seems like too, yeah, you know, cool. talking about cons, that there are a ton of. At least in my area now in, in South Carolina, I basically have some small show or some event going on almost every weekend, it seems. Mm -hmm. um, there, you know, there's a, there's a couple local, um, they're, they're doing a flea market one in, in a week or so. And then there's some smaller cons, some smaller warehouse. South Carolina actually has the state. It's like the state con, South Carolina con uh, that's in April. You know, we've got obviously we've got Heroes Con, but it seems like there's more where there's a lot of shows popping up now, you know, more frequent, smaller type shows. So we're definitely back as far as at least in my area now. And I know I know even in, uh, you know, for Izzy in the Northeast, uh, you know, you've got King Kong next week. Yeah, you've got uh, Terrific Con in July. You know, there's definitely a, it seems like there's a lot of opportunity. Terrific Con's actually in August this year. Oh, August. OK. OK. And I know it usually it. was in they July. Believe, yeah. They moved it. I'm happy. And then it worked out in my favor. C2E2 is next month? Chicago. April? Yeah. That's yeah. over in Chicago. Yeah. Um, That's but yeah, we, we, and we, as you know, Brian, we always have a lot of shows over here. So, you know, Eternal Con and um, what's the other one that I always, I always forget the name, the one in the aviation, the cradle of aviation. Um, oh, yeah. Um, Ohio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, there's a couple. Yeah, there's but one in the winter, winter right? Mm -hmm. There was there's a bunch of different shows in, in yeah. Long Island, New York area. And then of course, I remember as a kid, okay. I remember as a kid, there was a hotel show at like a Holiday Inn that ran like monthly, and I was able to walk to it. Like before, I was driving, like it was uh, close enough to my house where I could walk to it, and they would run that show basically like once a month. Mm. You know, well, just in the ballroom in the hotel. Up. The, I mean, the Route 110 show, which is really just a small gathering of yeah, collectors. That's another one, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah there's, a, there's always there's always something going on every week. I think this is the only week that there really isn't anything because of Easter. But we got yeah. a pop shot. And so we got, we got a pop shot going on today. So, and okay. honestly, up here wow. around the greater Toronto area, because Toronto is a world-class city with 6 million people in it, there's something every weekend here, too, because there's the smaller sleeper towns for people that travel in and out of Toronto. And there was a toy show yesterday on Good Friday. And I'm sure it drew well because there's not much else to do. And toy shows, to me, do almost better than, than certain Comic Cons because toys, in my opinion, are have a much greater appeal than just com like Comic Cons themselves. That's when, it, when it's on a smaller scale. And uh, yeah, it's every weekend. There's always something within an hour's drive for me, like <laughs> like yeah. a con, well, Josh, toy con. Last week. <laughs> yeah, lots of Josh opportunity to spend money. Toy yeah, yeah. So if you want to find where Josh was, he was in a he was in a toy fair last week. Yeah, and Wonder Cons this weekend. That's right. And Wonder Cons this weekend. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a couple, couple See, people. Another, another spinoff con, right? Let's be honest. Yeah. And WonderCon's a pretty big con too. Like it's a spinoff, but it's a pretty mm -hmm. big con. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Legion, we mentioned pops and and Legion. Mark pops in the uh, yeah. pops in the in the chat. Like there Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Love for cons. Who's talking about my dad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bleaker's I'll be back, here. Guys. I'm still here. Okay. Bleaker's here. Check out uh, Sunday Church with Bleeker on Sunday, Sunday morning, kicking off 
a Sunday uh, the Sunday lineup of, of folks. Let's see, Pop and Son. Good morning. Highlighted them before. Uh, let's see. I think I got everybody in the chat. But yeah, let us let me get ready because we're once Izzy gets back, we'll. Uh, I'm still here, guys. All right. We've got a uh, we've got a big wheel. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right. I feel like we should almost talk about again. Wow! <laughs> what, like what the what the Our ratio the what the ratio was now, Brian? Please read everyone's name that's on this wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right. If you were, if you were a channel, if you're just a, ch I, I, if you're a channel member, you got, you've got, uh, you got to vote. Your, your your name is on the wheel. If you're a channel member of multiple channels, um, you've got uh, so two channels. You have got six entries, and then if you were a uh, member of all three, you got twelve. So I think we had four. We had four people that were um, channel members across. All three, so they've got multiple. They've got twelve entries, um, and then we had—I have it right here. Let me check my list real quick. Um, you know what the thing is? I'm a channel member for two of those channels. Me too. <laughs> and well, I don't qualify. If I, if, if I don't win, <laughs> right, we, I'm take, be we mad. take our names off the wheel. So <laughs> we have 15, 15 channel members that are uh, are channel members across two channels. Thank and you. then we have. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you which is the third one. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got about about 25 that are are a single channel member. You know, somebody a channel member on one of our one of our three channels. So um, we've got a lot of names on the wheel. So um, what we've decided to do uh, is do a. Um, let me shuffle this. Let me just shuffle the names because they're in. They're sorted right now, so we'll shuffle, shuffle Quantum a couple Man. times. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. So we're gonna we have four four prizes, four membership prizes to give away. The first of the prizes is the big is the grand prize. We're gonna do the grand prize first. The so triple crown prize. Three slabs, right? It's yeah. um. We've got the Doctor Strange. We've got the uh, Grim signed, and we've got the um, exclusive Superman with the NYCC logo, uh, special CGC logo. So we're going to do that first, and then we have our secondary prizes as well. So um, good luck to uh, to everybody. So this is it. This is the moment of truth. Let's this run it, it. I think right. And and one quick thing. We we all watched DJ Links last night. Do not price tag this away, <laughs> dude. I was so I into. Can't it believe Gary gave that away, but wow. Well, Gary gave it to Nick. Then Nick was trying to give it to who was he was Remy? To, I think to Remy, and then Remy tried to give it to Legion, and then Nick tried to give it to me since I won the second one. It was like hot potato. Like, nobody Nick. wanted the nobody the wanted DJ's the prize. Like, it's just too bad. <laughs> It, it could have come to me because I win that second one, and it would be easy for DJ because all he has to do is give it to me on King Kong. That's it. No, no shipping involved. It's simple. Well, it was funny because I think somebody mentioned the the value of the prize, and then Nick was like, "Hey, wait a minute, no, no, I'll keep it." <laughs> like, why? Why is there a big rip on the box? And they're like, "That's where they put my name." Like they ship the box. Like, that, the I, value is lower now because of in the another box. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. So we, yeah, we we took a little bit of a cue, right? Because because last night DJ had that you know the big prize, and then he had yeah. a smaller prize. So we're gonna give away the big prize right up first, right up right up front. So, mm -hmm. um, are we ready, guys? Let's do it. Oh, All right. Good luck know. to everybody I'm who nervous. enters. I'm nervous. Come on, keep it local. Here we go. Here we go. Who is it? Well, that, I, that, that I, can't, I can't see it, Brian. It's so small. Okay, let's see who's our. Yeah, Trish! Yeah! 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 Congratulations! Congrats, Trev. That's great. I don't know about you guys, but Trev was one of the first people to join my channel membership back when I started it. 
So that's pretty cool. Yeah, he he same same for me. I think one of the if not the first person for my for my channel. So and yeah, Trev's just yeah. a big you know yeah. big community supporter and has a great you know great channel of his own. So congrats. yeah, Trev's a great yeah. guy, dude. Yeah, he, he he's he's won some really cool stuff for me. So he's another thing that he wins for me. Trev, you you're starting to have a a big collection of stuff that I sent you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if he he's close. I'm not sure if he's reached Lacrucius level prize winning, but I mean, I think I think he's close. Yeah. Here you go, Trev. Congratulations, Trev. Trev. Superman. So, Trev. All right, but we've got we've got three more There's secondary two. prizes to give away. So, which yeah. uh, which which one which prize do we want to give away first? Who, whose prize, I should say? Uh, I got mine right here. All right, so we'll give away. I got Crystal. So. Uh, just, just a reminder, because I'm sure everyone was aware of the Triple Crown Prize that we've been promoting, but I'm giving away the set of Mark Spector Moon Knight uh, issue one in both the trade and Virgin variants. Uh, that's an exclusive. Also, Predator number one, the trade and Virgin. That's an exclusive. The one in 10 ratio variant for Last Ronin issue number one, the original, and two different... Uh, DC packs from Walmart featuring a super character on the front. So again, uh, just a quick, uh, that's the Mark Spector oh, that Mayhew. Book. That's the Virgin variant copy. This is just simply gorgeous. Uh, the Predator. Yeah, uh, I believe that's book. Bjorn Berens that did that cover. And the Virgin variant, like that's movie poster quality. That is awesome, that right there that's so that's so slabable isn't it yeah and the oh. one i the one that's kind of breaking my heart to give away is oh. yeah, the, the one in 10 last ronin exclusive ratio love it so yeah that's uh that's going out that's to a good, that's a good stack of prizes one lucky person all right so let's spin it for the the chris's prize pack good luck here we go like even though we gave away the grand prize, these secondary prizes are pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, they are kick ass. Doctor Von Hoot, oh. yeah. <laughs> get that shipping label ready, Chris. So, so DVH, <laughs> you let me know when you arrive in Toronto, and I will drive out there, and I will drop these off right to your hand and meet your family. <laughs> you gotta hold on to it. Ah, uh, no, I'm joking. You know what? DVH actually uh, sent me an AOK. It was a, uh, it was um, a Frizen variant, uh, and so I kind of feel like I own one. So yeah, this is uh, this balances everything out. All right, so Izzy, we wanna we wanna show off your uh, your All book. Right. So the next book here is a double sign by Tom King and Scott Snyder at a 9.8 Batman Rebirth. And you know what? What's really cool about this is that today we celebrate the 85th anniversary of Detective Comics 27. So there's a, there's actually a pop-up shop that I'm going to do my best to try to go to today over here in New York. But, you know, just in time for a Batman day, which is usually in September, but this time around, this is what's going away. So... You got the two signatures, you got the 9.8, and it's a number one, and it's Batman. So who doesn't love Batman? So that's Great going prize. out today. Great prize. Come on, let's keep it local. All right, let's see. <laughs> were, you, were you planning on just keeping all let's your Spider-Man? Good luck, everybody. Who's going to win it? Stephen C. I'm not, I'm not aware of who Stephen C is. So Stephen C is a channel member on my channel, I know for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will send you his Instagram information, Izzy, if you don't know yeah, it. Yeah, I don't already. have it because he's not. Okay. Unfortunately, he wins something from, from my channel, but it's not my channel. He's not in my <laughs> channel. <laughs> so Steve, hit me up. Subscribe. So we've got um, my prize pack that we're giving away. I'm going to throw in a copy too. I'm going to add Mr. Gary B's need a copy of that Ooh. to the to the prize pack as well. We've got a um, we've got a five below pack. I've got nice. Those got are hard to the, find, apparently. That was nice. Got the, 
Spider Gwen Smash. This is the John Jang cover. <laughs> what is it? Could be, you know, the hot spec book of the summer. <laughs> Dazzler number one. And we've got the uh we've got it in a comic nice. capsule as well for you. Nice. So so those Protected are those are case. that's what I'm giving away as my secondary prize. So let's uh grab the wheel. Good luck. And the winner is Cat Fan Comics Man. And I think Cat Fan said in the chat he never wins anything. So there you go. Well, he actually <laughs> has something for me that I have that He's he won wants. for me oh. before too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe it's the duck. Uh, maybe yeah, it's the he duck. doesn't have it right now because he actually has a sketch that I'm working on. So. So I actually finished the sketch. I got to send it to him. So <laughs> it's one that's really nice. I, it, you know what? I'll show it to you guys a little later after the after the stream. So congrats! So that was it. We've got Trev won the grand prize, DVH won Chris's secondary prize, Stephen C. Izzy's, and Cat Fan Comics Man my my secondary prize. So congrats to all four winners. Thank you for all of the channel members and all of your you know your continued support. From a membership perspective and, and watching our content and, and being here on our live streams really, really do, you know, can't say enough to, you know, to, to thank you guys for, for supporting our channels, right? There's a lot. It's, it's amazing. You can pop on YouTube at any point and there's videos to watch or live streams to jump into. <laughs> the community is uh, like last night between like eight and, you know, just I jumped on around 830 and there was Joe had, a, you know, there was so many different streams going on last night. So good, good to see, good to see the community is uh, alive and well, but we do have one final um, giveaway to do. We always do breakfast with Brian. We always do a, a chat uh, hashtag in the, um, in the chat. So but we're going to, there's that. more, there's more. That's right. <laughs> we're giving away a pretty big, uh, <clears throat> pretty big stack of books. Oh, I had the wrong. I don't know why I put happy birthday. <laughs> T.W. <laughs> <laughs> happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you unsell it? Because I think we all got something planned for the next one, right? For our next first Yeah. <laughs> just, just wait. Yeah. There's no, more. no, there's no announcement today. No, we're just <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I will tell you there are plans in in yeah. motion for other. Yeah. For, I'm sure all of us have plans for new things. Yes, yeah, so I'm already building a stack of my next next month's uh, giveaway books. Yes, yes, yeah. So, but now this will be a chance for the last duck for the uh, for the final duck race that'll give you a chance to win. Uh, we've got we've already pulled twenty books. I mean, oh, Torah number I one already I on the pile. So need that. So, so need that. I think I think I might have given Brian my last copy. <laughs> <laughs> I want it back. You know that that Turok arc is actually pretty good. Oh, I know no. that it get, I know it gets like poo pooed or whatever because of the overprinting and everything. But that that Turok is actually a good read. Well, it's Bart Sears, man. Bart Sears when he yeah, was at the night. Like I really I enjoyed it. First appearance oh. of the Jackal in a, in a facsimile. Oh, first appearance of Jackal. I heard there's some other guy, some smuck. Yeah, some minor character first appearance in that. In so that it's book a minor well. I, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one. Yeah, that's what, actually that's one of the books I'm going to be looking for. The 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 the, the first print at Heroes Con. Mm. They're there. Just ask Rob. Yeah, I know. Mm. Gotta follow. Follow Rob around, I think. Yeah, and <laughs> grab grab Mark so we can just load yeah, all that. Yeah, I got I got to bring Mark in to negotiate. You yeah. probably get it for. What do you want for this book? Oh, it's listed at, at five hundred dollars. Mark, I'll give you five dollars. <laughs> let's just meet halfway. <laughs> I'll give you five percent. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get Pop just to stand there like menacing. <laughs> no, no sale. All he'll do is just give him the finger afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> his hand towards his back. You gonna agree to this number, man? Wait, and then out of nowhere, he'll just do one of these. 
<laughs> All right, we've got uh, 23 out of 25. And uh, Chris and Izzy, if you, hopefully you guys entered the, the hashtag oh, yeah, as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, get that get get in there. Get, get in one in there. In there right? You can try to win 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 something, right? My wife is telling me you got to stop winning stuff because <laughs> there's no more space. <laughs> but but it's free. It didn't cost you any money. Yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got 25 entries. We're gonna run it. 26, three, two, one. Good luck, everybody, for our last duck. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Come on. Legion. Oh, Mark. <laughs> I told you, it's Very like bad. Beetlejuice. Like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm with All you, right. Phil, man. I'm with you, man. And you got a house. I got an apartment. Think about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just the other day, I, I go into the corner because my wife always puts like stuff that she wants to do for give, like to you know give away and stuff like that. And I'm looking, I was like, "Why are you giving that away?" It's like because we don't use it, but we need it. <laughs> if if all of Rob's mails call calls are filled with wins, I mean, he's winning probably three or four prizes a day. It must be because some of those Monday mail calls pretty pretty big stacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. A couple guys jumped in the chat. Mike, good morning, Mike, Steve, Joffrey, so, Old just Wolf, we missed Tony. Okay. Good morning. Just to tell you one thing, I have a box here. So this is a box. The context of this box has a slab that I've been wanting to get. However, I do have the raw version from this comic that's in here. And that's the one that's going to be part of my next giveaway. Oh, very nice. So, do you guys want to see the box? Should I open it or should I make a video? You gotta let Brian do his thing here. Like, but... yeah, so. <laughs> let me. Oh, that's uh, right. Let... That. All right. So, here are all the names that we have for the end of the month giveaway. We've got Kenneth Bird three times. La Cruz has got two entries. Ventress Joe's got two. Trev's on there twice. Cat Fan. Manny, Durs, Tony, Cliff, Meatwad, Chicago Schultz, David Posner, G Malo, Collecting with Durs is on there again. Yeah. He yeah. just won today. And then Legion of Comics, Mark. So let's get ready. Good luck to everybody. Let's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, let's see. Good luck. <laughs> Here we go. Plenty of time. You want to. You want to kind of be in the back of the pack here. You don't well, want to. Ken Bird got number three. Is oh, yeah. no, 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 no. there goes Tony. Tony. I called Tony's out, I called out Durs last time. I don't know if I should do it again. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what Cliff is now gaining some momentum there. Legion's way in the back. Tony is way in the back. Well, that's where you want to be, though. That's yeah, with 30, uh, 30 seconds left. Anybody's race. Jean Melo was in a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jean Melo's starting to gain a little momentum there, but look at the adventurous look Joe. Commonverse. Commonverse. Oh, 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 here we go. We, we're now, Commonverse. We're now we're no, 15. Las Cruces. I, I like Tony. Tony's in a very, very good spot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Who's, Who's going to jump for it? Oh, oh, Jean Malo. He's, he's making a run. Jean Malo. Jean. He's got some good luck too. Gene. Look at that. Look at that hat. Yeah, he had the he had the uh, express hat on, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just see. Who was oh right Cliff there. second? Durs yeah. third. Durs on the podium again. Yeah. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never a bride, right? Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that, trust <laughs> me. Being nominated is worth <laughs> All right, is worth so. alone. We we already have a stack of twenty bucks that we've picked in previous weeks. So let me grab. Now, this uh, short box is looking a little uh, a little thin, but I have a whole new box waiting in the wings. Uh, I wanted to kind of finish this one up, so we've only got a small a small stack of books uh, in this in this short box. So 
Um, you know, I'm just gonna pick the front and back, and then we can do some. It's not not a lot of front to back action or back to front action. So just tell me, somebody tell me when to stop. Stop. All right, we've got one. If I if I think I saw what I saw, that's a pretty good Stop. look. All right, we got one more. All right, two, All three. Right, yes, we one go more. with a stop. Okay. So this short box will be retired. We're bringing the new one. Uh, our next, our next live stream. So nonstop Spider-Man number three. That's a nice this cover. Is a... Great cover. Terrible story. <laughs> That's actually a Finch cover, and he'll be at uh, he'll be at Heroes Con. Mm -hmm. Titans Unlimited. Okay. You mean Titans United? Would that did that say United? United, yeah. yeah Izzy, don't be correcting anyone. All right, man. I'm, I'm just not, I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. On behalf of Taylor Winder, don't be correcting anybody. <laughs> Legacy X, X Men Legacy, right? Number ten. Hey, it was got... a completely different word. Okay. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So this is skull and kickers. This looks like a. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Mm, I'm not sure. Image. And then last but not least, we have <laughs> DC Superman Rebirth, number eighteen. So, healthy stack of books going, and I actually have another copy, my last copy that I will send out as well. Ooh. Of Gary B. I'm not sure if Gene has a copy. I'll check with Gene. If he has a copy, I'll. I'll... Well, he he may not because they're not available in, on Amazon's Canadian website. It's only oh, an American okay. website that yeah. has need. So yeah. all right. So Gene got a nice, uh, nice big stack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, we, we didn't have talk that about that. Yeah, about right. Uh, J. Scott Campbell today is actually at nine uh, twelve that's Eastern. Right. Um, is dropping three exclusive covers for um, uh, oh, Ultimate Spider-Man number four, right? Yeah. If you sign yeah, up to the and if you sign up to his VIP list, is basically his mailing list. They'll send you a code. I think it's for fifteen or twenty percent off mm -hmm. uh, any of your orders. So you definitely, if you're interested in buying those, you you may want to go. So you may want to go do that. Missed yeah. it. Missed it, Trev. Set your alarms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because yeah. they will be I'm, gone. I'm sure people got the bots on them. That's the part that's going to irritate me. Yeah. Yeah, because I think, right, it's only like a 3,000. I think a 3,000. A yeah, 3, 3, it's 3,000 for cover A, and then the cover B and C is 2,500. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, so they'll probably go quick. But he has signed copies, unsigned. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good looking covers. But yeah, so congrats to all of the winners today, uh, Trev, DVH, Stephen C, Catfan, and Gene. Gene, um, and Gene's not here this morning. He he slept in, I think, yeah. <laughs> and he's the big winner. Um, but yeah, so thank you to everybody, uh, all of the channel members. Um, we'll try to we're going to wrap it up in the next couple minutes because I know Phil's got his stream at eleven. But um, Izzy, what else you got coming up on uh, on your channel? I know you're dropping your your short box video this afternoon or this evening. Yeah, so this evening the short box video is coming up. I'm in the process of finishing the editing. I did the audio tracks already, so it's a good, it's a really good list. I love it. It's a Wolverine heavy list. Okay, I say that much um, because I'll drop a reel beforehand. Um, but you know, the number one book is last week. The number one book was a surprise. This one is not, but when you see it, you're going to love it. So you got that going on. Of course, on Monday, I'm going to have Flash by Night is going to be my guest host, and we're going to be oh, talking nice. this stuff. So we will get some wrestling talk in there because it's WrestleMania weekend next week. I'm really excited about that. Then we have some uh, unboxing that is, that's happening. I have an unboxing to do for channel members on Tuesday. They're going to see it, and then it'll be out on Wednesday for everybody else. And there's some really good books in that box. Um, and then and then it's King Kong on Saturday. King Kong and WrestleMania weekend. So I'm excited for uh, that. Busy, busy Let's weekend. finish that story. 
<laughs> so explain something to me because I'm I used to watch WWE back in the day. We're, you know, I used to watch wrestling probably in my, you know, early uh, teenage early 20s and I haven't watched it in a long time, but we had the TV on and uh, WWE, I guess it's is it Friday they have a Friday night There's Friday a- night Smackdown or something. Yeah, Friday night Smackdown, yeah. So it was, so it was on in the background and I noticed so Jake Paul is a wrestler now in the WWE? No, it's Logan Paul. Logan yeah, Paul. Logan Paul. Okay. Logan Paul is the United States champion right now. Yeah, and he's a champion. I had he, no he's surprisingly really good. <laughs> like Athletic. really good. Yeah. 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 Like okay. he's really good. And yeah. of course he's a talker, so he, he's like the perfect heel right now. So uh, he's, who, he's who, good was, on who was ch- somebody was chasing him down the tunnel, he jumped in a Corvette and sped off. It's probably um, going to be like Kevin Owens or someone like that. Yeah, really. yeah Kevin I think Owens and Randy Orton are going to fight him. Over yes. The week. Okay. They, yeah, that's the re- they, they were talking about WrestleMania. So yeah, it just happened to be on in the background. I was like, wait a minute, what what's going on in yeah. WWE? You can see it in the chat, man. They're, they're like, he's really good. He's yeah. absolutely a rookie of the year. Surprisingly good, and yeah, no, love right. to hate okay, him. So- he plays a great douchebag. He, but, but the thing is, he's a real douchebag. <laughs> so now, who's fighting? Who's fighting Mike Tyson? His brother, yeah. Jake Paul. Is it Jake? Which, yeah. yeah, Jake Paul. Okay. Which I've been seeing the video clips of their training. He's dead. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I saw somewhere that that Jake <laughs> Paul gets to wear like a headgear and all the stuff to try and no. to protect like, himself. In all seriousness, I hope that's I'm not looking. true. I'm looking at the training videos, and Jake Paul is like, mm-hmm. but then Tyson is like, I don't know what he did, yeah. but he's moving like, like he was still twenty. You know, Tyson looks angry, like, like I'm gonna hurt somebody <laughs> in the training videos. <laughs> I hope, I hope his sparring partner gets yeah, paid a lot. I don't of money. think Jake's gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Chris, what do you got? Uh, what do you got coming up on on your channel? We talked a little bit about it earlier, but uh, what, so, what else? Yeah. You got? Again, everyone, keep an eye out for uh, what happened at 2024's Toronto Comic Con with this appears to be organized crime ring that hit a bunch of the patrons and uh, the volunteer staff being very rude and uh, denying people with accessibility needs the option to use elevators and stuff like that. Uh, but on top of it all. Uh, Wednesdays will be show us what you got the live new comic book day hangout where it's an open invitation just reach out to me for the link and uh, today in just a few hours 2.30 Eastern uh, will be only slabs yeah Yeah. who's your guest today do you know you remember no (laughs) (laughs) don't ask him the hard next week is Cliff though (laughs) next week we know is Cliff it might be Cliff we're gonna see how he makes it (laughs) yeah Allegedly, I think, somebody, I think we need the Council of Comics with Cliff documenting his his travels between yeah, a con and, and back home. It would be a good vlog, like a yeah, day in the I'm life. Gonna to, I'm going to try my best to hold him. I, I, I can see him like, like driving and sweating, there. you know, checking. He's like, oh, no, I've got 10 minutes to get to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so on, on my channel, I've, I, we're actually going to take a little bit of a break for Breakfast with Brian for a couple of weeks. I've got some, we're actually moving. I have to move. The room that I'm in now um, is becoming a um, a spare bedroom. So I'm moving to another location in the house. So I've got a couple of things to do around the house. So we're going to take a couple of weeks off and we'll be back at the end of April. And actually right around my three year, three year anniversary on YouTube. So, um, so we'll be back, but yeah, next we'll next week and probably two, at least two weeks, maybe three weeks. No, no breakfast with, breakfast with Brian, but We'll be back, like I said, at the end of April. Um, I just I've got a bunch of stuff I need to take care of around the house and got so some that means I could do breakfast at King Kong. You could. You could. <laughs> <laughs> we could do breakfast or, with King organized Kong. Organized crime rate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor Winders becoming a sex cave. <laughs> now there's too much light in this room to be a cave. So <laughs> The other room's the sex cave. <laughs> That's already I'm well. Digging, I'm digging the hole uh, this this weekend. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, man, that was pretty quick. You want the uh, the new member packs? That's awesome. 
Yep. Send me, uh, send me, send, send us your addresses on uh, <laughs> your address on IG and I'll, I'll get it, get it in the mail. So, but thank you again to everybody who came out in the chat, every, all of the members, congratulations on all of our winners today. Chris, Izzy, thank you so much. Thank you for this cross channel uh, giveaway. I thought it was, you know, thought it was good. Maybe we'll, we'll think about something in, in the, in the future, you know, maybe near the end of the year or we'll do something like this again, but um, enjoyed working with you guys on, on the, uh, on this yeah. giveaway. So, so yeah, shout out to Mark and DJ links who came out with this wonderful idea. Shout out to Izzy down below who did a lot of those very cool uh, sizzle reels for us. And yeah, guys, it was a whole lot of fun. Yes. And um, in honor of, um, in honor of one of our winners today, let's see. Let me see if I make sure I got it. No, we will not be showing Vince McMahon again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave you with the the sweet, sweet dance moves of uh, Dr. Von Hoot. Take care, everybody. From the spiral dimension. <laughs>